Hello everyone, welcome back. The Housemaid by Frida McFadden is a thrilling and fast-paced psychological mystery that follows Millie, a young and beautiful woman with a criminal record. Desperate for a fresh start, she lands a job as a live-in housekeeper for the wealthy Winchester family. However, what seems like a dream job quickly turns into a nightmare as Nina Winchester's bizarre and frustrating behavior escalates. Millie is also given a room in the attic that only locks from the outside, raising questions about the true nature of her employers. The Housemaid was originally published on April 26, 2022 by the talented Frida McFadden. It's actually the first book in a series called The Housemaid. The genre is a mix of thriller, mystery, psychological thriller, and crime with a contemporary adult twist. It even won the Goodreads Choice Award, which speaks volumes about its popularity and quality. I'm personally giving it a 4 out of 5 stars rating. The Housemaid by Frida McFadden is one of those novels that will linger in my mind for years to come. It's a book I'll eagerly recommend to anyone seeking an incredible thriller filled with mystery and psychological terror, all wrapped together brilliantly. McFadden's excellent writing style and well-crafted characters make this one of the standout novels of 2022. From the very beginning, the book hooks you with its addictive narrative. It's hard to put down, and I found myself reading deep into the night because it's such a genuine page turner. McFadden masterfully sprinkles little revelations throughout this story, keeping you constantly gazing. Just when you think you have it all figured out, the plot twists, turning your world upside down. Millie, a recent parolee who is homeless and in desperate need of a job, believes she has found her dream position when hired by Nina and Andrew Winchester as a live-in housemaid. However, she quickly realizes that Nina is a difficult person to work for, reminiscent of Meryl Streep's character in The Devil Wears Prada. The interactions between Millie and Nina as well as the rest of the Winchester family, are both intriguing and unsettling. The story's tension escalates as Millie becomes more entangled in the Winchester's twisted world. The attic room that locks from the outside is a constant reminder of her precarious situation. The psychological tension is palpable, and the suspense keeps you on the edge of your seat. However, the final 30 pages of the book were a bit of a letdown. Without giving too much away, the actions of the police, Enzo, Millie and Nina felt ridiculous and implausible. It was such a disappointing conclusion that I found myself audibly reacting with No! Come on! Really? Despite this, the journey up to that point was so gripping that it still warrants a high rating. The ending, while not entirely satisfying, did have a drop the mic moment that was both unexpected and thrilling. One of the highlights of the book is the way it balances creepiness and danger. Nina's erratic behavior creates an eerie atmosphere and the story escalates from unsettling to downright perilous in the second half. Millie's mysterious past is slowly unraveled, adding depth to her character and making her more relatable as the story progresses. Another downside was the initial lack of information about Millie, which made it difficult to connect with her at first. However, as her backstory unfolds, you grow to care about her and root for her survival. Overall, I'm giving The Housemaid by Frida McFadden a solid 4 out of 5 stars. It's a fun, fast-paced mystery thriller that delivers on suspense and intrigue. 
While I wished for a few more mini plot twists and a more satisfying ending, it was still a memorable read. I'm excited to read the sequel and see if McFadden can recapture the Age of Fear Seed tension that made the first 90% of this book so captivating. If you're a fan of psychological thrillers, this is definitely a book to add to your reading list. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this book if you have already read it. And if you haven't, are you gonna read it or not? If you liked my review, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more book reviews like this one. Bye for now.